how then can he see you? I'm not saying see you as in, oh, he just sees you as, as Hannah. No, no, no. That's why you need to join my mentorship program. It goes beyond you as Hannah. No man marries a, a woman by the leading of the Spirit because he saw Hannah. No. He must see by the Spirit of God. There is, a, there, is a, there is an opening that must happen in his spirit man that will cause him to see beyond Hannah. Listen, there were things that were in me that God opened my husband's eyes to see, although those things had not yet come into manifestation. It is an opening of the eye. Not his physical eyes. It is the eyes of his understanding. It is the eyes of his own. His eyes must open to see something that causes him to say, this one is my helper, not my friend, not my girlfriend. Not even just, oh, this is somebody I, 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 I gist with, I, I, I vibe with. I don't want to just vibe with you. I'm not here to vibe with you. I'm here on an assignment. That's who you are. You are a woman on an assignment. God has equipped you and called you into the office of a helpmate to help him in destiny. You're not here for one, one day help. And then the next time you're hearing from him again is in January. Ain't nobody got time for that. He needs help. He cannot fulfill it on his own. Adam couldn't. So can he. he. So can't he. He can't fulfill it on his own. Whether he claims it or not. Whether he's arrogant about it or not. And if he's dealing with pride, he needs to be broken to a place of humility because he must know that he cannot do it. I'm not talking about money. He can make money on his own, but he cannot extend the kingdom of God on his own. He needs support. He needs a rib. He needs someone who can stand at the forefront with him, who can see what he is not seeing. He needs you. You are a key to the divine. That vision does not come because he saw you wearing white dress or because you opened your legs for him. I'm telling you, it is not between your legs. It is in your spirit. That which unlocks it, it is within your spirit. It is the cry. As you cry and you align with God's kingdom, God begins to open his heart. He opens his eyes and then stares his heart. Haven't you seen a man that says, I don't know why, I just knew I had to call you today. When you begin to understand, when you begin to experience a man communicating to you like that, know that something happened. Something happened overnight. That's not when you stop praying. That's where many of us missed it. We stopped praying. We got so excited. Oh my God. Lady Anne, the prayer is working. The prayer just started to work. You keep working it by keep prophesying. You knock, knock, knock. Seek, seek, seek. Ask, ask, ask. Until the door is opened and you enter your promised land.